my first jewelry tutorial. I have been making my own jewelry for a very long time and the job that I get paid to do every day is to design and create custom jewelry for people and for boutiques. So a friend of mine suggested I give this a try and here we are. So I am going to show you how to make a pair of Pavade stud earrings. They're very cute. Um, they're pretty quick and very easy. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so there's actually a prep step to making these earrings, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that so that we can get that out of the way and it can be setting. And while that's over to the side, then I'm going to tell you the rest of the things that you're going to need to finish these earrings up. So you are going to need earring posts, of course, or clips, you know, depending on your ears are pierced or not and you will need now this is a flat back pearl um, it's just a plastic what we're going to use for our base it's flat it's about I think this one's 12 millimeters um, and you're going to need some E6000 glue when it comes to making jewelry, I don't glue everything, but when I do use glue, I only use E6000. Super glue will not work. It will not stay. I promise you, I it just doesn't. It doesn't work. E6000 is the best that you can use, and I'm not getting <laughs> any kind of payment from them on that. Uh, you're going to need a toothpick. This is to get your glue out with and get it onto your surface. And if you have... Um, jewelry clamps these are actually medical clamps I do believe look like scissors have little teeth on here they don't cut anything but you stick things in here and then shut it it locks it's kind of like having another hand very handy um, if you don't have any of these you could use tweezers um, just have to make sure that you keep these tightly squeezed together as you're working with them. Uh, but if you can, if you know you plan on making a good bit of jewelry, I would definitely look into getting some jewelry clamps. So for our prep, what we're going to do is take our toothpick and we're going to squeeze a little bit of glue out. That one's dried up a little bit. I'm just going to Walk that off because I want fresh glue. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze, and when it starts to come out, I'm going to stick my toothpick in there, kind of pull out a little bit, and then I'm going to start twisting back and forth in order to break that glue off. I don't want to stick it in there and pull it because then you'll have a tail of glue going across your work surface. So I'm going to take my post, my earring post. I'm going to take my glue. I'm just going to spread this on here evenly all around. I don't want like a paper thin coat, but I also don't want a huge glob. I, I want it to kind of stick up a little bit. If you need to get more, get more. If you need to take some off, that's fine. Take some off with your toothpick rub it down on your napkin but um, you just want a nice little layer of glue all the way around Set that to the side and then I'm just going to take my little flat back plastic piece here it doesn't have to be pearly it can be whatever you want it to be really this is just our base like I said I'm just going to actually drop that on there okay and then I'm I'm moving it but I'm not press, pressing it down so I'm gonna pick this up and I'm actually gonna turn this over where I can see the post okay and then I'm going to push the post in as hard as I can now you're gonna have glue 
I don't know if I don't think you can see it, but it's going to come out of this out from underneath the post and it should. That's fine. Um, you just if it comes over the edge of the I'm going to call it a pearl. If it comes over the edge of that, you've got too much, which is not a big deal. All you have to do is take your toothpick and just wipe it off. Um, but you definitely want it to come up out around the post itself. Okay, and then just center it, and that's it. Now, we're going to do the other one, and um, we're going to let that sit for about 30 minutes. Now, I'm going to give you a bunch of different times here. I don't want you to get confused or frustrated about it. With E6000, in about 30 minutes, we will be able to work with that earring um, and shouldn't have to worry about it coming off of the post. Okay. Um, now the dry time, I'd say in about 12 hours, you can wear these. You can make them one night, get up the next morning and wear them. That's fine. The set time on the back of the tube says 24 hours. Dry time is how much time you want to let it sit and dry before you mess with it. Set time is just means they prefer you to leave it alone for 24 hours so that even after the glue is dried it still sets um, and you have less chance of it coming off of anything coming off um, the longer you let it sit the less chance of it coming apart any of it but it is work withable in this case after about 30 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing, turn it over, press it down. I want that glue to come out around the post. I'm going to center it. Have a little bit coming out. Seems I got a little too much in it. It's not really that big of a deal. This is self leveling glue. So it's going to not only level itself as long as you keep it level but it's going to kind of shrink back up in there as it dries okay the reason that we're doing our post first is because it's going to make it easier for us to pave the top of this if we're working with glue and we're trying to hold this piece in our hand and glue and put stones on or whatever it's just going to be a sticky mess everywhere. This post makes it makes it able for us to just hold it or hold it with something and work around it without getting all messy. Okay? So now while that's sitting and drying, I'm going to tell you the rest of the stuff you're going to need. You've already got your glue. You've already got your toothpick. Those are some of the main things. Now... Pave is like a French word for pave. Basically, what we're doing is paving these earrings, okay? So, I will be using, these are Swarovski crystals. This is Majestic Blue, and they're 12 SS. You can use any color you want. You can use any brand you want. Um, I use glass as well. Um... But I do recommend that you only use 12 SS when you're paveing anything um, or smaller if you want. But ideally, 12 SS is about where you want to be. And if the crystals that you're buying or using aren't measured in SS, um, you're looking at about a 3 millimeter, 3.2, between 3 and 3.2 millimeter stone. Okay, so you're going to need those. You've already got your other parts of your earrings setting. And then what you're going to want to do, since we are just paving or laying a flat layer of crystals across the top of our little dome here, we want to paint this the same color as our crystals. I just use fingernail polish. I mean, it's quick, it's easy takes only a few minutes for it to dry 
And the reason we're doing that is because when you're laying them flat across the top, you'll be able to see, probably be able to see up underneath here. You just want it to be the same color. It's kind of like, I guess, um, your grout. <laughs> so it's just gonna make it look more cohesive, bring it together and uh, not make it, you know, it, it'll just make it look better. So I just took some fingernail polish doesn't have to be the same exact shade and I painted my earrings or my little pearl pieces whatever you want to call them doesn't have to be a perfect job okay It just needs to cover the surface. Uh, you probably don't even really have to do, you could do one layer probably and just get away with that. And then we just wait our 30 minutes and we'll come back and complete the earring. Okay, so we've waited our 30 minutes. Um, there should be plenty of time for us to be able to handle these without your base piece sliding off of your post. Now, don't manhandle them. You know, you still want to be gentle. It, there's still a, a a large possibility of it coming off if you're way too rough with it, but as long as you don't put too much pressure on it, it should be fine. If you don't feel comfortable, like, you know, it's been enough time, you can wait as long as you want. You can let these dry overnight. If you want to wait and then come back and pave them after it's completely up to you um, I'm just I'm doing this because I'm trying to show you how to do it but um, I work with them every day and I'm totally confident that it's dry enough to where I can finish this earring okay so what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna go back to my glue and I want the fresh glue if you have like a dried up harder layer on top just take it off put it out the way okay and then you're gonna same thing you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna stick your toothpick in there pull out just a little and then you're just gonna twist 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 okay so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go around this bottom edge first all the way so I want to I'm gonna set my glue on there See how it's pulling up? And then I'm just going to pull it. Around the entire. Outer edge. Of the earring. Or of the dome piece. And then I'm going to take my toothpick. And I'm going to smooth it out a little. I'm not going to wipe it off. I just want to smooth it out a little bit. Make sure I've got it all the way around. And if you want to just go halfway around, if you don't, you know, if, don't know if you can work fast enough because you don't want your glue to dry. You still need it to be tacky in order to get these stones to stick, okay? Now, this is a, another toothpick with a little wax ball on the end that I made. You can buy things that pick up stones um, from the, any craft store. Uh, this is just easier for me. So I'm just grabbing the little stone and I'm going to set it right on the edge and push down. I'm going to push it into that glue. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab another one and set it right beside it. I'm going to push down and then I'm just going to go do that all the way around the bottom okay so see I have this one that won't stick so I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue Touch that little spot and kind of 
get it down and then I'm just gonna go back and pick my little stone back up and insert it on there they don't have to be perfect right now because once we're done with this row we will go back and we will move them around put them where they need to be put you know they may need to be Push closer together or spread further apart. I have another piece there that my glue's drying up on. Okay, now I have gone about halfway around. Okay. Now this half of my glue is already drying. It's not going to stick. So I'm going to just actually take that glue off, okay? I'm not going to scrape the little dome piece. I'm just going to kind of grab that glue and pull it back. See how it's trying to already be in one piece? It's already drying. Okay, that's okay. I'm just gonna pull that dried up stuff off. It's not gonna hurt you. It's just like elementary school. Peel right off your hands. It's fun for all ages. Okay, now that I've got that off, I'm just gonna go back and get another fresh little bead of glue. And I'm going to recover this other half. Okay, and then I'm going to smooth it out. Just like we did before. I have also found that how fast your glue dries can depend on the temperature, the weather outside, the humidity. So if you have to work by just putting two at a time, that's completely fine. Just do whatever you're comfortable doing. And then when you start closing in this gap, You might notice that there's a little space left and that's okay because now that we've got them all on here I'm gonna look at it from like this and I make sure they're all on the edge okay push them push them in gently and then I'm just gonna kind of spread them apart just a tad just to kind of fill in that gap. It's okay if there's a little space between them. Okay, that's why we painted it. So that even if there's a space between them, you still see blue. Okay, and I am just taking my fingers and kind of pushing, pushing them in, make sure they're in that glue, okay? Making sure they're on that edge. My fingernail. The good thing about this is if you don't like it or you mess up, you can just take them off. It's kind of a pain. You have to clean the glue off of them, but if you can get them off, and redo it, then You know, it's worth it. You may as well do it now as opposed to waiting till it's been drying for a while and then they're really hard to get off. Okay. So now that we're done with that first row, we're going to move on to our next row. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a bead of glue. 
And I'm only going to go probably halfway around this time. Just so we don't have what we had on the first row. Okay, I'm just going to pull my glue around. I got it. I think I got a little too much glue, so I am actually just going to go ahead and spread it around the whole side. What the, the first row is kind of the hardest because you have to get them all lined up on that edge. Once you get to the second row, it should be a lot easier. Okay. And when you get really, really good at it, you, you could probably even do your first row and then cover the whole thing and complete the rest probably in one, one go. But you don't have to. It's not a race. It's not a competition. I just want to make sure you get them on there. When I place my first one on the second row, I don't know if you can really see, but I tried to get it in between two of the bottom ones. And then I'll just go from there. And they won't all be in between, but it's just a good starting place. Okay. Now I am to the, where I'm closing in my line now, there's a little bit of a space. Then we're just going to do exactly what we did on the first one. We're just going to scoot some over a little bit. I'm just going to take my thumb and I'm going to push them, make sure they're pushed into that glue. Okay. And now it's time to do the next one. And these are 12 millimeters, so this will probably be the last one. Um, like I said, it doesn't take very much time. The longest thing about these is the drying time. So I am actually just going to put glue all over the rest of it. Just a really thin layer. Like I said, this one you don't want the glue seeping up on the sides of the crystals. And making a glob. Okay. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to start in between two and then just continue to go around it in the circle. And close that circle up. Look how sparkly. So pretty. Push them down in there. Make sure they're all right. Spots where they need to be. And that's it. And we're just going to set this to the side and let it dry. And then I'm going to do my next one. I'm having some napkin troubles here. Okay.
I'm going to start with a smaller section this time. And I'm going to use my little stick to kind of push them down in there. Okay. See, I've got part of it done. Like I said, however big of a section you're comfortable doing. And done. All right, we're going to let these sit and dry. And then we'll see what they look like on as soon as they're done. Okay, so it's been a little while, and I was just so excited to show you these. Look how beautiful. Aren't they pretty? God, they're so sparkly. And what's really great is, you know, with everything going on right now, having to wear masks all the time, it's not always easy to wear big, beautiful, bulky earrings anymore. These make it really easy, especially if you're constantly, you know, mask on, mask off, mask on, mask off. These are little, and they make it easy to be able to access on and off masks. But they're still mighty. They pack a little punch. So they're beautiful. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? I think they're pretty. Of course I do. But um, I just love them. I hope that you love them. I hope that you make something you like and that you learn something and um, I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I have so much to show you and uh, if you want to stick around, I'd love to do that with you. Um, if you like the earrings but you don't want to make them, you can purchase them. Uh, I have a Etsy shop. It's called Gypsy Ultra and I have tons of other things on there too. Um, I have these in a few different colors. And I could also do custom colors. Just send me a message. Um, but yeah, check it out and subscribe. Come back and see me. Thanks.